what's up gang i'm back with another video don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below on this video guys i am about to make some homemade chicken strips and i'm going to make them in my sauce that i make them in um i will go through the steps on what i do and everything um i know y'all wondering where's my husband he's not here he's working guys um he works a lot to take care of us to keep us spoiled and rotten and just to make us happy and keep us happy and that's what i love about my husband guys like i wouldn't want to be with any other man but him because it's not about what he does it's about how he do it and i really appreciate that from him guys um but y'all will have a video from him um coming soon um and it'll be lit guys um it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be everything um so let's get into this video guys i'll be back all right guys so this time i really have chicken strips guys i got them from food lion guys i really have chicken strips this time guys i'm not i don't have them to where i cut them from out of chicken breast i really have chicken strips this time um so i have my oil on already i have pepper i have salt I have hot sauce. Mom. I have Tony's as well. If anybody know what that is, it's very good, guys. I put that on all my food, but if I don't have it, then I'll use the seasoning salt. But what I mean, I literally use it on all my food when I have it. I literally do. And that's everything that's in here, guys, with the chicken strips. And then I'm going to mix it together. Mom! 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 All right, Mom. guys, so that's all mixed up. I'm going to wash my hands, guys, and I'll be back once the oil gets warm, guys. All right, guys, so I am back, guys. So the grease is hot, guys, because it's really like this. You can see the flame of it. Um, so I am about to put the chicken strips in there. All right, guys, so that is the first batch in. So once this batch is done, I will show you the results of the chicken strips. So I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so I am back, guys. So they are almost done, guys, because it doesn't take long for them to cook. Um, so they are almost done, guys, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I am back. So I am taking the first batch out of the pot. Alright guys, so that is the first batch of the chicken strips guys. So I'm about to put the second batch in now.
right, guys. So my second bag of chicken strips are in, guys. So uh, once they're almost done, I will show you guys. And then I will come back, show you the results. And then after the results, guys, I'm going to drain this grease out, wash, wash the pan and everything. And then I'll put the sauce in on how you make the sauce. Um, so I'll be right back once they get done, guys. And guys, I also forgot to mention, guys, one of my pet peeves is always keep your kitchen clean, your stove clean while you're cooking, guys. Whatever you mess up, go ahead and clean it, guys. So you won't have any dishes at the end, guys. So that's what I did, guys. I went ahead and washed the flour pan and the bowl, guys, out already. So I won't have any dishes at the end of the, at the end after I finish cooking or at the end of the night, guys. So that is a good pet peeve to keep, guys. Make sure you always wash your dishes, wash your hands while you're cooking, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a good pet peeve to keep, guys. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So I am back, guys. I'm about to take the next batch out. They are so golden, guys. Y'all trying to wonder what that noise is? That's the microwave, guys. I have some um, bowl, it's the bowl kids macaroni in there for my kids, guys. So that is the results of the chicken shrimps, guys. So give me about a couple seconds, guys. I'm about to pour this grease in something else, and I'm going to wash the pan, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm back, guys. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce, guys, but I have this here. Um, you just put a little bit in the pan. You put the barbecue sauce. You put sugar. You can put sugar or you can put brown sugar, guys. It's either one you want to put. Um, just to make it sweet. Um, so you won't have that, that tangy, that tangy taste, taste. Um, and also you can put a little bit of, um, hot sauce, guys. So it's like a sweet barbecue hot sauce style chicken strip, guys. So I'm going to mix this together, guys. This is how it looks, guys. It smells good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Alright, guys, so it doesn't take for it long to warm up, guys. You don't want to burn it. If you burn it, it will be no good, guys. And the only thing you do, guys, you take a chicken strip, you put it in there, and you just throw the sauce on it. Just like this. And then once you put the chicken strip in there, guys, you place it on the empty pan, guys. I'm not going to do too many, guys. um, Because I don't know how my body is going to react to it because I haven't ate it in a while. In a long I haven't ate it since I've been pregnant. So I don't know how my body is going to react to it. Um, but this is something I had a taste for. So I said, well, let me cook it because I do have a taste for it. And guys, you don't have to put um, everything I put in it. Um, you can put, you can make it any kind of way you want to, guys. Um, Cause sometimes I usually just put barbecue sauce and brown sugar, guys. Um, like this is my first time using that kind of barbecue sauce. Um, I usually use the Walmart brand. Um, but uh, when I went to Walmart, they didn't have any because of Memorial Day, guys. So it was like. I have to have no choice 
but to get what I can get. So guys, this is how the barbecue strips look, guys. So now I'm going to put them in the oven for about a good 15 to 20 minutes, guys, just to let them get crispy, guys. And then I'll show you the results afterwards. All right, guys, so I am back with the results, guys. Um, but it's hot. Um, so they look like if you go to Zaspies or somewhere, guys, and they give y'all those barbecue trips, that's exactly what they look like, guys. And you can put, you can use, you can dip them in ranch dressing, guys. Um, any kind of sauce you want to dip them in after you cook them, guys. But that is the results of the chicken strip, guys. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below on this video. And I'll be back with another banger. Peace.